Our Lady of Walsingham. In the year 1061, in the village of Walsingham, in Norfolk, England, there lived a devout noblewoman, Ricaldis de Favreche, who wished to do something to honor the Blessed Virgin Mary in some special way. In response to this, Our Lady appeared to Lady Ricaldis three times. On one occasion, the Blessed Virgin mystically took Ricaldis to her house in Nazareth, where the Annunciation had taken place. According to a text, known as the Pinson Ballad, on Our Lady's third and final visit, she showed her the house where the angel had greeted her. Look, daughter, said Our Lady, take the measurements of this house, and erect another one like it in Walsingham. It shall be a perpetual memorial to the great joy of the Annunciation, the origin of all my joys, and the root of humanity's gracious redemption. This came about through Gabriel's message, that I would be a mother through my humility, and conceive God's Son in virginity. Let it be a place of pilgrimage. Whoever seeks my help there will not go away empty-handed. Having received these visions and instructions, the question arose as to where exactly this replica of the Holy House should be built. The Blessed Virgin gave a sign. Precaldis was shown a meadow wet with celestial drops and silver dew sent down from on high. Except for two places in the meadow, equal in shape and size, which were completely dry. Lady Ricaldis had difficulty deciding on which spot to build the house, but she finally settled on the area closest to two wells. She hired workers to begin construction at once, but the project was plagued by one setback after another. It appeared as though the wood and stone were at war with the workers and their tools. After some time, they gave up their seemingly futile efforts and encouraged Lady Ricaldis to ask the Blessed Virgin for guidance. That night, as the men slept, Ricaldis kept an all-night vigil, praying to the Virgin for help. And so Our Lady instructed angels in the construction of the house, and then had them move the building to the other location, a little more than 200 feet away. Early the next morning, the workers came back to the construction site and found everything had been finished perfectly. Also, in addition to the completed building, a miraculous spring was uncovered. News of the Holy House and Miraculous Spring quickly spread, and pilgrims began to come in droves. For hundreds of years, the miracles never ceased. The lame could walk, the blind could see, tongues of the mute were loosened, all sorts of ailments and diseases were cured, and, most importantly, sinners were converted. King Henry III made his first of many pilgrimages to Walsingham around 1226. He was a great supporter of the Virgin Mary, and her holy house at Walsingham became one of his centers for devotion. Following his example, nearly all the kings and queens of England, up to and including King Henry VIII and Queen Catherine of Aragon, came on pilgrimage to the Holy House. Henry VIII later betrayed the Catholic Church and, upon his orders, the Holy House Shrine was destroyed. The statue of Our Lady of Walsingham, venerated at the Holy House Shrine, was ordered to be removed and destroyed by fire. Through the centuries, two different locations for the statue's burning have been passed down. The Heretic's Pyre at Smithfield and in the courtyard of Thomas Cromwell's house at Chelsea. However, there are now stories of the statue having been secreted away by Catholic loyalists. In recent times, a 12th century statue held in the Victoria and Albert Museum in London has been brought forward as possibly being the long lost statue of Our Lady of Walsingham. Today, there now stand three shrines in honor of Our Lady of Walsingham in and around Walsingham. The Catholic Basilica of Our Lady of Walsingham, also known as the Slipper Chapel, Our Lady of the Annunciation Catholic Pontifical Shrine, which contains the Holy House replica rebuilt in 1897, the Anglican Shrine of Our Lady of Walsingham, 
which also contains a replica of the Holy House, as well as the Miraculous Spring. The present stone statue venerated in the Catholic Basilica came into being in 1954 when Bishop Harker of Northampton commissioned the Canadian artist Marcel Barbeau to carve it for the shrine. On August 15, 1954, the statue was solemnly crowned in Walsingham on behalf of Pope Pius XII by his apostolic delegate, Archbishop O'Hara. The crown was made by Mr. W. F. Knight of Wellingboro with golden jewelry that was donated by the faithful. The statue sits on a special throne in the Basilica of Our Lady of Walsingham. Moments after the coronation, two white doves descended and landed on the lap of the statue, much like the doves who accompanied the pilgrim statue of Our Lady of Fatima all over Portugal in 1946. This was seen to be a miracle. Prayer to Our Lady of Walsingham O Mary, recall the solemn moment when Jesus, your divine Son, dying on the cross, confided us to your maternal care. You are our mother. We desire ever to remain your devout children. Let us therefore feel the effects of your powerful intercession with Jesus Christ. Make your name again glorious in the shrine once renowned throughout England by your visits, favors, and many miracles. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, for the conversion of England, restoration of the sick, consolation for the afflicted, repentance of sinners, and peace to the departed. O Blessed Mary, Mother of God, Our Lady of Walsingham, intercede for us. Amen.